Okay, here we go. This is the second layer. Um, the first layer was just these three, and they turned out pretty good. You know, I mean, it's just the first firing with glaze. So, but her hair turned out pretty good. Hers, um, I had, um, just spot treated with gray. She had wax on this other area because I wanted to do a wash on her face. So she kind of looked like a washed out terracotta. But then when we go to the back, oh Lord, Darlene. Darlene with her alopecia. Bless her heart. Here's more. So here's my Roe v. Wade gal. Look at her eyes. I mean, she's not glazed yet. She's just under glaze. And then here's my cow pea. There's going to be two more of him in a pod. And then here's my Cirque du Soleil. And then here's the one with no brain. Her eyes are supposed to be looking up at the world. See, stars in her eyes and stuff. And Chris broke off her cigarette, her doobie. So technically out of all these, the only one that's been glazed is Darlene, because she's all shiny, see? Everybody else is matte. Not that glaze can't be matte, but that's sort of not glaze, right? Glaze is shiny. And glaze is a permanent thing, so in order to change the color of a glaze, you have to kind of sand it. So these are all just their first matte firing. Still work to do my world let me show you this my world it's part of the totem boy didn't that turn out awesome so beautiful these colors this this color is called deep sea and sure enough mm -hmm. put it over here there's my dove and see my beads turned out okay and my pea pod um, the bottom of this I, I made darker and then I put in a floor that didn't turn out so good. It was supposed to look like um, dark wavy, but instead it just looks like tar. Uh, and here's the third and final layer. And um, these are just test tiles, so like... They're showing me, like, here's what the color looks like glazed. Here's what the color looks like unglazed. And then these were just my faces that I was playing with. Um, and these are also testers to see what the paint did. Um, there's Darlene's hair. <laughs> there's the puffer. And it's pretty terrible. But, you know, I mean, a lot of these things, when they have the first fire, which that is not going to change, you know, but like this one, it's his first fire. So it's, it's kind of one note and this one, it's not glazed, but I have to, I have to, um, fire them to stabilize them. I mean, but look at some of these beads. Look at that one. Look at that. That turned out great. You know, for the totem poles. Oh goodness. So good. And the little puffer, he's not glazed yet or she. Should I make her a she? Or he? There's some things like, okay, first off, let me show you how cute this is. This is for the totem. It's like little shoulders. So cute. And then, you know, here's my practice faces and here's poor Darlene's hair. But for some things like this, for example. So here's my, my sailboat. My chick turned out all right. Um, but this one, if you notice, it's kind of shiny on the white, but the red is matte, and that is because on the red, I want to do some decoration, like some, some fine lines, and also put a number on the top, and um, I needed to set that red because red it smears, 